let's let's come to metaverse and i'll use gaming as a, as an example because i think kunal mentioned that metaverse is just a next level of gaming and farhan said how is it different from a game let's say right now you're playing a game uh, it can be fortnite call of duty or gta 5 you buy something in that game that can be a skin uh, by the way this virtual skin market is 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 very uh, booming fortnite made 2.5 billion in revenue and that was mostly through selling skins you buy a skin in a game um, now tomorrow if the game decides to stop using the skin the skin is just gone you don't own anything um, if you are on zoom and let's say you're paid for some kind of a virtual background which you like if zoom wants to pull it off it's gone you really do not own it it's it's centralized ownership uh, you might see examples that uh, I think a very famous example is uh, Mr. Pradeep Punya, who, uh, who started raising a voice against Baiju's. He started posting it on LinkedIn, YouTube, and his channel was banished. It was taken off. Why? Because uh, Baiju's paid money to YouTube to just say, hey, we don't want you to show this content. And you thought you owned the channel, but you don't anymore. Now, how Web3 and Metaverse will be different is using the concepts of NFT, you will have ownership of a lot of in virtual world items. This can be a skin, this can be a virtual house, this can be shoes, eyewear, whatever. Gucci, Adidas, Nike, they are already making a lot of virtual merchandise for the metaverse. So one big difference or one great thing about metaverse or Web3 concepts is that you'll be able to own things. Now, how, uh, let's say you buy a t-shirt from Gucci inside the metaverse, um, that will be minted on a blockchain. That means you are the owner of that t-shirt. Till the time that blockchain exists, it will be recorded that you own that piece of art, merchandise, whatever. So in that way, metaverse, the point, point of one, why metaverse is not a scam? Because you'll own things and nobody, be, nobody can take it from you. Uh, whereas in a web two and a centralized world, everything you, you don't own things digitally. It's, it's just with you till the time a company wants it to be. Second is interportability. Right now, let's say I'm playing a game again, let's say GTA five, for example, I own a t-shirt in GTA five and, uh, or I own one skin in GTA five. And now I want to go to Fortnite. I can go to Fortnite, but I cannot take that skin with me. I lose all my progress, all the items that I've collected, and it just goes away, right? Um, if I'm playing four different games, I have to buy items in those four different uh, games altogether. And that's that's just not great. Let's say in a real world scenario, if I own a car, so I'm situated on Bhilai, Chhattisgarh. I can own that car in Bhilai. I can take that car to Delhi and Bombay. So metaverse is supposed to be the same way. So the ideal property of a metaverse or the metaverse concept is interportability. That's the second. First we uh, spoke about ownership. The second is interportability. How will this be better for the consumers? Are there any FIFA fans out there? There, there are two major football games out there. One is FIFA, the other is PES. And in both, you can create your uh, teams I'm forgetting the name of, of that uh, uh, mode. I think it's, okay, I'm forgetting it. Let's say if I play games in both the places, I need to buy the place separately in both the places. Um, that, that's not fair for me as a user. I would want to buy, let's say, Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi in FIFA and use him in PES as well. I want to buy it from a centralized place and use it in all the games. Similarly, let's say if I buy, Let's say this shirt, this denim shirt, um, in a decentralized metaverse, I would want to take it to Sandbox, or I would want to take it to a Roblox, or the metaverse which Facebook is creating, or all the 153 metaverses out there. If there are a 153 metaverses, as uh, someone said on LinkedIn, and they've counted it. Now, uh, ideal state, you buy something, and that is interportable from one metaverse to the other. And again, metaverse is a virtual land where you can 
play, socialize, and learn. So that is the second property, and that's how it's different. Um, in a centralized world, that does not happen. Everyone makes you do in-app purchases, which is not just not good for end consumers. It's just good for the companies.